Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can visualize in QGIS information from web mapping services. So sometimes we have found information like the one I'm going to display now here, the national map. We want to display this data set or particular data set in our <clears throat> QGIS canvas. So um, how to do that is what I'm going to share today. So First, we go to the QGIS and we locate one shapefile that will be our boundary. This helps to define a spatial extent and it's much easier than for visualization. Um, now we go to the properties and we're going to make it transparent and modify the stroke. So after a couple of seconds, we should be able to do that. Okay, so we go here, we make it transparent and then we increase the stroke. Perfect. So after doing it, having done that, um, we just go to the web mapping services location, and then we just go to the map of Australia. It can be any other data portal available there, and here we put add data. So would you just put this keyword vegetation? We click on vegetation. We go to green vegetation, and we want to uh, display the percentiles. Okay. So we go here, and we just copy this URL. We just we need to be sure that it says web map service and the URL is available. We just go here, we right click on WMS and we create a new connection. So we just copy the URL at the bottom. We go back to the map service and we just copy the name of the service description. We just go back to QGIS and we just paste the name. We don't need to do anything else for now. So we'll take a couple of minutes until it pops here all the information available it's just currently thinking um now we have here the digital earth and australia's web services um we just need to be patient because this will depend on the speed of your uh broadband okay makes sense so we we found here the fraction of cover the percentage we wanted to show and we just add it to the map so this will be display. Now we just need to reorganize the order of the layers. Now we can add other information on top of that. So for example, I want to show the water bodies because they are white um, and I'm going to change these properties. You can also access to the properties just by double clicking on top of the layer name. Um, take a couple of seconds and then we just go here and we just change with right click you can access the quick it's a quick way of access to the uh, information we just put transparent oh no sorry we just need a color right uh, a blue and we just make opaque okay and the stroke will be the transparent one so we apply that and we have here our layer now we can blend it with the other layers using multiply it's very similar to the blending methods available in Adobe Photoshop. So we just put multiply, then we just apply. So you will see that it changed. Um, so we will be able to visualize all the information below. <clears throat> um, we can also change here by double clicking. Uh, we can change the layers uh, transparency. Uh, we cannot change the symbology because it's already predefined. And we can change brightness, the blending mode, etc. And we can also go to transparency and change the transparency. So this is basically um, how we can display it, and we can add all that information if you want. Uh, let's try to add that information later. Um, so this is a good way to show um, a web mapping service in QGIS. See you.